Welcome back. You're watching Chartbusters here on CNBC TV 18. Well, the Central Bank of India is searching after the RBI removed the bank from its prompt corrective action framework, which will now allow the bank to add more branches and also focus on loan growth. Well, to understand what's the strategy for the bank going ahead, Mr. Rao, the MD and CEO of Central Bank of India joins in. Hi, Mr. Rao. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, it's a relief that's come in. And, uh, you know, you've been mentioning this, that you've been complying for the last few quarters, and you were hoping that this will happen. I'm wondering, why did this take so long? If you could give us, uh, you know, any kind of uh, color that you have. And also, you know, what specific restrictions get lifted uh, post this? Uh, if you could quantify it in terms of branch expansion, management compensation, and the likes. Yeah, thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, let me thank CNBC for giving me the opportunity to share the joy of my 33,000 employees. Pleasure to have you. Yeah. And uh, coming to a specific point of, uh, you know, for the past six years, we are under this uh, certain restrictions. But as such, it has helped us to grow in a very orderly manner. And going forward, even after lifting, uh, we are not going to change our business model a large extent, but certain aspects where in acquiring certain assets, where we had certain restrictions that will move away, but our bankers' students will always prevail over that. Uh, this is my limited submission. Actually, this has helped the bank to grow in a very orderly and controlled manner. And that's why, you know, even in this uh, MTM losses of March, hmm. and ours is the bank where we had zero MTM provisions. That is how we could be able to maintain because we had a very large investment book because our CD ratio was only a 52 earlier. Now it has grown to 57. So large amount of money was placed in my treasury. Even with that, we could be able to manage in a way that right. that losses could not hit us. Hmm. Take that point, sir. You know, uh, just wanted to understand uh, how much of your growth guidance that you had given for 10 to 12 percent uh, uh, was, uh, you know, factoring this coming out of PCA itself. And now that you have come out of PCA, do you think you can grow faster than this guided band of 10 to 12 percent? Return on assets of around 0.5 to 0.6 percent. This is already factored when we have given this guidance. We have factored that we will be coming out of the PCA because okay. the measures what we have taken, and we know that it is only a matter of time. And also the confidence what regulator uh, will be getting on our activities. Uh, that's why we have factored all these things when when we have given this projection. So there is no upside to this guidance that you are giving already, because no. of you coming out of this PCA. Okay. Tell you our gross NPA will be drastically will be coming down because of our own planning. What to we what have levels? Now. To what levels? Um, uh, below ten. Okay. And okay. this year itself. This year itself. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, you know you have a couple of assets as well in your kitty. Uh, I think Central Bank Home Finance as well as uh, Cent uh, Bank Financial Services Limited. I think you have around sixty four percent and hundred percent in the other one. Any plans of monetization of a couple of these uh, assets? Uh, if you could give us a roadmap, a time frame, and also as of today, according to you, what is the value of these assets? So actually, our Cent Bank Home Finance, uh, you may be knowing that it is only the uh, Home Finance NBFC where uh, deposit taking license is there. Right now, there is no plan to monetize. We are only focusing to enhance the value in this uh, subsidiary. And for that, the headquarters also, we have changed it from Bhopal to the uh, Bombay for uh, better, uh, you know, decisions to take. Though it is an online distance we maintain, but in Bombay, entirely a different market where our uh, home finance management will have the broad picture of the NBFCs and uh, going along. The how to increase the book and then what are the milestones they have to achieve? We have specified to that. So no plans. So, to, we have, so no plans to monetize both these two assets then, as of now. No, uh, we are not monetizing. We are going to enhance the value in this. Okay, all right. Uh, let's flip it around. Uh, uh, any plans of privatization? Have you heard anything? I think central bank's name crops up uh, with the other banks. There's a smirk on your face. Have you heard something? Uh, you no. know, if you could. See, there's nothing. Uh, no news. Uh, uh, from any of the quarters, except I'm also watching uh, your media only about hmm. this. Okay. Media is watching you and you're watching the media, sir. We'll, uh, we'll play this game until there is something officially which is announced. Uh, 
You know, uh, let's talk about uh, your asset quality. You did speak about your uh, GNPAs falling below 10% this year itself. What are your thoughts on uh, the credit costs going, for, uh, going ahead? Um, what, what kind of NPAs uh, can you contain your book to? Yeah, yeah. See, right now, my uh, net NPA is at 3.93. Hmm. And uh, the way we are working out the slippage ratios, SMA book uh, and the stressed assets restructured portfolio, what we have. We have evaluated all these portfolios. And in corporate book, we have a minuscule. It is only a below 100 pros that may be moving into NP. Otherwise, the entire corporate book is healthy because we maintain the balance of 65-35. That is 65 will be the RAM and 35 will be the corporate. That balance we are maintaining and going forward also, we maintain. So in this scenario, hmm. on corporate side, I have no issues. As far as in the RAM segment, we have a total grip on the asset quality and also on the SMA book. Okay. So the slippages, what we are envisioning for the quarter of September will be around one. Not more than that. And uh, NPAs will uh, go below what three percent, or would you? No, no, it's not that. We have given the graded uh, gliding path where from three point nine three, we will be touching around three point six, three point five five. Yeah, in that range, we have given. By when end of this year, or in the coming quarter? Uh, in the for the December for, for the December. next uh, March, it will be around three point four. 3.4 by March 2023. Uh, okay. And what about NIMS? You want to give us a guidance out there? And also on the credit cost front, uh, if you could uh, tell us. Yeah. Uh, regarding this uh, credit cost, we have uh, made it around 1, 1 to 1.20. That is the range we are holding on to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming to your NIMS, NIM, yeah. earlier also we have given the guidance of floor level of 2.75 and... Uh, in all these five quarters where we were meeting all the PCA benchmarks, we were never came below the 2.77. Always we are above the 2.77. So you've, 2 improved, you've improved upon uh, your credit cost guidance because from 1.5 to 1.75 earlier, you're now saying it'll be 1 to 1.2%. Yeah, exactly. All right, that makes sense. And uh, any further uh, cost-cutting plans uh, that you have? You know, there were reports of you rationalizing some branches, etc. No, rationalization is always is a you know ever growing. Uh, it's a continuous uh, call we take on the unviable branches. Okay. Uh, this time we are focusing more on the profitability of each of my unit. Okay. That is whether it's a branch or BC point or POS machine or ATM. Okay. I want to make unit profitable. All so right. in that uh, we can evaluate. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Rao, total number of branches you have as of now. How many of them do you think that you'll be shutting down, which may be not very profitable, if you could tell us that? And also, you'll be looking at addition. Now you've come out of PCA, you have that license, I believe, to go ahead and add branches. Yeah. So uh, give us some clarity on that front very quickly. Uh, I cannot put the figure right now because uh, it is a okay, just we have given clearance for the 12 branches to be closed down. That okay. is, in fact, merger with the existing branches. Ah. So I, I cannot give you the uh, perfect figure because it is a oh. continuous valuation. Okay, all right. All right. Your, sh your shareholders have liked what you've said, but your employees will get a, uh, you know, a compensation management uh, increase. Uh, you know, is there a compensation increase that they can look forward to very quickly, sir? Uh, sir, as far as the public sector bank is concerned, no individual bank can incentivize any of the Got employees. It. Okay. No, at all. It is a settlement at the industry level. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Rao, for joining in, giving us all those details. This talk opened well in the green and holding up with gains of almost 8%. As you say, that your guidance has already factored in you coming out of PCA. So there's no further upside to loan growth, but you have improved your credit cost uh, guidance from here itself. Uh, with that, we wrap up on this edition of Chartbusters. You stay tuned. Trading Art comes up next.